welcome back for another great video today on the backpacks the one thing that you probably want to make sure that you have in your arsenal all right. arsenal all right now these can be used for a lot of different things folks okay yes they can be used for camping they can be used for hiking they can be used as your 72-hour bug out kit these can be used as your emergency supply kit all right, you can label this however you want to, but this is survival that's right here in front of you. All right, some of these packs, they have a lot of different features and everything else, and we're going to start right over here. This is the QTQY uh, pack. It's a molly pack. It's a 45-liter pack. It does have some mollies and stuff on it. You can attach some stuff in here. And we're going to break this pack, this particular pack, down today so you can see what I got in this thing and everything else. But this pack right here, if you go on to my Amazon storefront right now, they're offering it 30% off. So you're getting it for $34.99. It's regular $50. Bucks. So that is a great deal on that pack right there. It's very well built, very sturdy, has some great zippers and everything on it. I like that pack. Now this pack over here, I've done several videos and stuff on. This here is a CV Life 60 liter pack. It's a Molly pack. It comes with all the attachments and stuff that you see on this thing. Um, you can really put the gear to this thing right here. Uh, this is just a great pack. I have carabiner clips here and I carabiner clip a Raft Power. 28 watt solar panel that'll fold out laid down the back of the pack this thing is great for charging your headlamps your flashlights your cell phone your gps system all the small little products and everything that is what this thing here is made for this is not going to be out one of these things you're going to buy to recharge your battery banks this is going to be something that you're going to buy to recharge all those small items that you may be carrying along with you while you're in the woods while you're in an emergency situation or if you're going on a trip or anything like this this very big pack right here in the middle this is a sapphire it's an 80 liter with a 20 extra liter compartment in the bottom if you choose to open it which will give you a total of 100 liters in this pack that is just crazy right folks rule of thumb make sure that if you're going to be carrying a pack and especially if you are a beginner and you're getting out and you want to start you know getting used to carrying a backpack and this type of stuff you don't want any more than 30 percent of your body weight so if you weigh 150 pounds you don't want your pack to be any more than 30 pounds if you are an experienced backpacker obviously you're going to carry more weight because you're used to it if you look at the u.s military a lot of their packs go anywhere from 100 pounds up to 130 pounds you know but they're also carrying not just their sleep system their food and water they're carrying the most precious cargo which is ammo if you're going to be incorporating ammo and into any of your packs ammo weighs a lot so you really have to take into consideration of that when you are doing your packs when you are packing your packs you have to get yourself a scale and weigh each item i know it sounds really asinine folks but it is so very important so that you can get these packs to the closest weight as possible. Now, one thing to also remember before we get going on this video of this pack right here, when you are buying your products, rule of thumb is the lighter the product, the more expensive it is. So today we're doing backpacks. We're doing the 72 hour kits. We're doing all these different things and this way here, you know what you need to survive and give you ideas. What I do in my videos on my backpacks, I always state, this is what I do, what I want in mine. You have to figure out what you want in yours. So stay tuned. We're going to break that pack right here down. And this way here, you can see what's in this bad boy. Okay, so in doing this, I'm going to break this pack down. All right, this pack is completely empty. We're going to this, we're going to call this compartment number one, compartment number two, the one right here in the middle is compartment number three, and the big compartment in the back is number four, as we go across the stuff that's on the table. All right, so we're going to start right off, and compartment number one is always your first aid kit. All right, so you have, you have first aid, 
all right <clears throat> i have extra gauze and stuff right here you have these packs right here and this is the elastic gauze that you're going to want to make sure that you do have because if somebody breaks a leg an arm a finger whatever else you can use sticks and this gauze right here make a makeshift splint this stuff is gold folks so make sure that you do have some of this kind of stuff i do have a pack of just your regular masks now i would highly suggest having a better mask than that in your uh, backpack as far as maybe like an N95 or something like that and we're not using that for Charlie Bear 19 we're using your mask just in case it could be a very very dusty smoky type situation that you could be in you don't want to be breathing that stuff in so having a mask to make sure that you're not breathing in all the crap that's out there in the given situation would be key all right <clears throat> some dental floss and then you know some standard a bar of soap, some toothbrushes, you know, I mean, just a little bit of hygiene and um, an emergency blanket, just in the chance that you may need something to throw all around you real quick or something if you got wet. A, a tube of afterbite. Now, this could come in handy because you never know if you are out in the wilderness or something, you know, I mean, having something to treat bug bites or anything like that, that's golden. Now, this stuff that's back here, my canteen, all right? This is the canteen that I have, all right? It's a stainless steel canteen that holds your water, right? But it also comes with your little cook system here, folks. It's all stainless steel. This can go right on a fire or something like that. You can boil up your water to eat. You can cook in this. You can make ramen noodles. You can make whatever you want in here. Make this like your little stove, and it all does attach right back together just like that the handle folds down and under and it goes back into the pouch right here now on the back of this pouch i attach this to the mollies on the outside i use these carabiners these are the 12 kn carabiners all right these bad boys will support up to 7500 pounds which would make this a great thing in case you needed to support maybe a hammock maybe you needed to support some weight maybe you needed to use them to try to climb out of some place having a couple of these a life-saving changing event for you to have a couple of very strong clips to help you out on the other side which you saw in the pictures all right i have another one of those carabiners i have a compass and a flashlight all right and this is on the outside of my backpack i also carry a stainless steel that has already a built-in carabiner clip cup so next in line in compartment two all right we start off in here is just an old medicine bottle you have cotton balls with vaseline on them all you need is a fire striker which we have right here all right your fire rod and this one comes with your striking tool it's all attached straight to it so you can't lose it and you could just strike those bad boys up i carry one of these all right this is just a, a tin it was a candle and stuff but inside this tin i carry my magnesium all right because you can just strike a little bit of that and get a fire going two bags of that would probably get you quite a few fires all right also i always carry some of this all right, this instant fire starter stuff, this is just great. You know, something that's going to make things just a lot easier. Some type of a multi-tool. This is your standard multi-tool knife. All right, you can pick these up just about anywhere. It has all the different attachments and everything, so you have a knife with you. Never leave home without a Bic lighter. Make sure you always have Bic lighters. And then this little tube right here, all this does is, is this thing just pops open like so. This screws out like this and this is to blow into your fire so you don't have your face down there and you are trying to get a fire going which is probably not a good thing to do when you're out in the woods and stuff you want to make sure that you are being safe you don't want to get injured all right apartment number three is your food all right so i go with mountain house all right, because you can pick these right up in Walmart. So I have a biscuits and gravy, and I also have a beef stroganoff. All right, now you can go online. You can pick up these new Millennium Bars. All right, these bad boys are good for four years. They are vacuum packed. 
They're heat resistant and everything else. So I have three of those in my arsenal. All right, you keep three of those in there. Instant coffee, gotta have some coffee. Maybe some plastic spoons this way here. It's a lot easier to eat and less weight. All right, so, and, and the last thing is you wanna make sure that you have your Sawyer Mini and all its compartments. You have the bag, you have the tool to clean it out, the whole nine yards. Now, one thing to remember with your Sawyer Mini, folks, is if it is winter time and you have used this, this has to go in the sleeping bag with you to stay warm because if the filter freezes, this is useless and now you can't sanitize your water. So make sure that if it is cold out, that you're storing this with you in your sleeping bag or sleeping system next to your body to keep it warm so it doesn't freeze up. And so this way here you can always get fresh water. The now, last compartment is probably one of the most important compartments. And we're gonna start off right here in front. This here is a military issue rain poncho. Now this thing is huge. So if you got your backpack on, you can throw this on. It'll cover your backpack and everything so everything stays nice and dry. They're very cheap and inexpensive. So I suggest people picking these up. A lot of these products, you can go right to my Amazon storefront that's listed in the description below and you can pick these things up. You have a battery operated power light, all right? Now this is just something good to have because it has these hooks and you can hang this up around wherever you are and this way here you have light around your whole situation and you're not burning up your flashlight. A survival tent, all right? This is a survival tent, it's a two person tent, all right? Stays right in this tube, it does come in a bag. So you can just take it out of here. I left it in here so you people could all see what it looks like. Next down the line, these lights. This is a rubber seal, solid rubber. You can't break the thing, all right? It has a hook back here where you can pull this out and you can hook and you can hook this up, but it does bring attention. So if you're broke down on the side of the road, if you were in an emergency situation, you can turn these on. People can see these things. All right, as you can see, it has multi-functions. It does a lot of different things. It also has a small flashlight that's connected to it. It is rubber, so if you set it on top of your vehicle, like I said, or if you were in an emergency situation out in the woods, you turn this on, people are gonna be able to see this thing. Some type of a lightweight towing rope, all right? This is a 750 pound towing rope. It does have one end that already has the carabiner and everything that's already on here. So maybe if you needed something to string up, or if even if you needed some way to climb out of an area or something like that, or pull something, having a small type of tow rope is something that's really good, and it doesn't take up that much space. Now, moving on down the line, bank line, all right? Bank line is very, very important. You can buy it in all different sizes and everything else, but you can build a lot of things with bank line, shelters, tools, whatever you may need will do. You can use this bank line because this stuff is like super strong, folks. This is the best stuff that you can buy. Now, going on the line of having different things, all right? I made these myself. I've done a video on these, all right? These are all made myself. And what I do is I use a aluminum foil tube. On this one here, I have some fishing line with a fishing hook under here. I have 40 feet of bank line, 40 feet of this orange line, and 40 feet of just your regular type butcher twine. All right, then on this one here, I have at this end, regular duct tape. In the middle, that is electrical tape. And at this very end here, this is your 100 mile an hour tape, duct tape. All right, so this stuff is very strong. You can use this if say you get a hole or something and say your radiator, hose or something like that you could tape it up and get you through to the situation aluminum foil now this is triple aluminum foil that i've made myself and the reason i did this was as you can see it is very long all right but you take if you have a fire going and you put this behind the fire drive a couple of uh, sticks into the ground push them in the ground whatever else and wrap these things around here this is going to push the heat and reflect it back towards you in an emergency type situation from a fire. Now we're getting down there.
couple of things I think that everybody should have, you know, glow sticks. Put some glow sticks and stuff into your backpacks, your emergency packs, your car, whatever else, because these could come in real handy. Now, back here in the back, get yourself a regular pair of gloves, however what kind of gloves you want, just make sure you have some gloves. A couple of bandanas, you can do a lot of different things with bandanas, if you wanted to wear a bandana instead of a mask or something like that, or just to keep your head warm, and whatever, always have a couple of those, these are very cheap. This back here is one of the most important things in here. This is a wool blanket, all right? Now these wool blankets are great, they're gonna keep you warm. Um, you can lay them on the ground and, and lay on them or whatever else. Uh, sometimes a lot of them, depending on which ones you buy, they, they can be waterproof, they're fire resistant. Just having this in your backpack could be a lifesaver, a game changer. And least but not last, is a good, sturdy, compact shovel. And make sure that it has these teeth and stuff that are on here on, on these sides because you could use this to saw some wood if you needed to and do that kind of stuff, you know. And you could dig holes, you could dig yourself out of a snow bank, whatever else. If you're out in the middle of nowhere having a good sturdy shovel, all metal, no plastic, you're good to go. So this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. We've been talking about our backpacks, what to have in them, and everything else. And I hope that everybody enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of this video. And if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below. Or if you feel that you want to be more personal one-on-one, -on -one, in the description below is my email address. Feel free to send me an email. And hopefully if you have questions, I can get the answers for you. But until next time, folks, you all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll talk to you all on the next video. Mm -hmm.